Now coming up on 1117, Matt Wentz in Wentz World tonight with the latest on the weather this week. A lot of W's there, Matt. Yeah, lots of W's. Russ, you handle that like a pro. You just never slip, even with all the W's thrown in there, whereas I can't say partly cloudy sometimes. So uh, <laughs> I will continue to aspire to be just like you, Russ Mitchell. Uh, but, Russ, I mentioned earlier this week, this is actually Sunday night, I thought this would be the best weather week across northeast Ohio we've had yet this year. And the only bump in the road is going to be tomorrow, and I don't think we're going to see a lot of rain. We may only see a couple showers on radar, but we are going to have more clouds as a cold front heads south through the area. So let's get you started tomorrow morning rather cloudy start they're already working in here this evening from the north few spotty showers gone are the 40s in the morning we're in the 60s to start tomorrow and by evening we'll see a gradual clearing north to south we're still in the 60s. What's going on? Well, that's your cold front. This is what sets it up. Temperatures are going to pretty much bottom out over the next couple hours as we're bringing in that warming air from the south uh, overnight tonight. You can see temps generally in the 50s, couple 60s, especially near the lake shore. And the dew points, this is a measure of moisture in the air. This has come up. We've got dew points right now that are generally in the upper 50s. So you can feel a little bit of mugginess to the air. By all means, not tropical. But there's the front. You can see it heading through areas of southern Michigan now with some clouds. There's some straight showers. This thing is really moisture starved and you can see behind that We've got the cooler symbol on there. How much cooler are we talking? Well, 30s and 40s up near the Hudson Bay. We're not going to get that cold, but we're going to have high temperatures that are very fall like around here, some 10 to 15 degrees below average, and it's going to stick around for a while. That's the thing. It's not a day or two. This is going to last for a good four to six days or so. The big picture across the country, it looks September like. It's very quiet. The flow of weather systems well off towards the north. You can see the latest on Sally now, a tropical depression still producing flooding rainfall and gusts winds in areas of Alabama and Georgia. That's finally starting to move. But I mentioned the cooler air is coming in once Sally gets out of here. Friday's high I've got at 62 degrees. The coolest day we've had before that was way back on May 31st when we only hit 58 degrees. So this will be a little bit cool compared to where we've been over the last two months as expected. Your National Design Mart Hour by our forecast showing those clouds working in here from the north. Watch the wind change. There's your couple shower chances around the area, but the wind shifts out of the north once that front goes through. The lake is going to turn very choppy and that wind's going to be, I'm going to say refreshing out of the north, but it's going to be cooler. Maybe enough to kick off a few lake effect showers tomorrow night with some moisture still present, but otherwise we'll start clearing things out. You'll see that sun break out later in the afternoon from north to south and we're heading towards the 40s Friday morning. Friday looks beautiful at this point, but grab your jacket and your newest sweater because high temperatures are going to struggle to get out of the 60, 61, 62 degrees range. How about that? Universal Windows Direct 10-day forecast showing that we stay in the 60s, but lots of sunshine. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all that wildfire smoke from out west is going to exit. We're finally going to see those clear blue skies again, and as we head into next week, Sarah, we're back to more reasonable readings for this time of year as we approach the 70s once again.